Right, what is going on guys? And um, in today's video, I'm going to show you the new speakers that I've picked up. Ever since I bought my Bio Center 9000, the Bang & Olufsen amplifier that I, I love and use every day, I've really wanted some speakers that would match it, because right now I've got Wolfordale Diamond 7.1s, and they're nice, but the sound just doesn't compare to what I would be getting if I had the right pair of speakers for the amplifier. So, as you've probably guessed, I've got something which does match it. They're not the biggest, they're not the bassiest, but in terms of the, the sound pattern, they do match very well, and I love them. And as you'll see in a minute, I need to get some repairs done on them first. So here's one of them. They're actually, they look tiny, but they're really heavy. They're uh, completely aluminium, 3.5 kilo each. They're Bang & Olufsen CX50. So these are the Biovox speakers because they're passive. And they're very odd because that's the side profile that's on the back. If you look, they're angled like that. The woofers, the woofers at the top. It's angled down, the tweeter's angled forward at the bottom, which is like flipped. And they've got weird edging on the back. And they're all mountable as well. Now the problem with these speakers, like a lot of others at this age, they used foam woofers, or foam surrounds on the woofers, and they just completely perished. And that's what's happened to mine, uh, which I knew about when I bought them. And I'm going to get them refoamed myself, DIY style. Um, I've watched all the videos, looked at the forms, I think I know how to do it. It's going to be my fault if it goes wrong, but it's worth giving it a go. That's what they look like with the covers off, so it, it is very strange, and you can see I've actually taken off the old surround. And warning, if you're going to be doing this, um, the surround is actually very sticky and gunky when it's rotted away. Um, so it was a bit of a, a nasty job getting it off, but it's worth doing. I've cleaned it up as much as I can, I'm just going to literally stick on some new replacement surrounds, which are 4 inch um, in diameter. So the specification of these speakers is only 60 watts, um, and I've had to listen to them very quietly, um, so I didn't want to damage the woofer. I was very taken aback by the sound, so I'm used to some bassy but muddy sounding Warfordale speakers, um, and when I listened to these, they almost sounded tinny, but then I worked out and it wasn't tinny, it was just extremely clear. Um, I think the, t the silk tweeters are really something quite amazing. And the sound they had was actually something I was looking for specifically, and that was a really present mid-range. I love that on the Form 2 headphones, and these speakers have that too. So when you're listening to music, the mid-range is the vocals, basically. And I loved it with the Form 2 headphones, they just jumped out at you and they sounded really smooth. There isn't a lot of low bass at all, but I was surprised at the, the upper bass on these speakers. It's much richer than I expected, so you will still get um, bassy tones, not low tones, but um, smooth upper tones of the bass. They sound really good. And I haven't really got much else to say about these speakers, um, because I haven't had a good good go over them, I'm still waiting for the foam surrounds they've made from the Netherlands. Uh, if you have any tips on how to re-foam, love to hear them, you know. Uh, I understand not a lot of people tackle these speakers for re-foaming because they are, they are really nice and I, d I didn't pay that much for them which is nice. Their condition's fine, just a bit of paint spots um, on the, the sides of the speakers. Um, obviously the, you know, the woofer was in need of help and they're worth quite a lot new, so if I needed to, I could refoam them and sell them on, but I think I'd love to have these maybe mounted on the side of my, my bedroom wall. And I'm just waffling on now, so see ya.